Hey guys, I'm currently at the hospital to get my knee checked. I met up with the doctor already and thankfully he was saying that I just need to rest a bit for a couple weeks, not walk too much. And if my knee gets swollen after walking, then just take some pills. So I'm waiting for my medication. And what's cool about this hospital is called Okay, I originally I originally pronounced this hospital as Bum Run Grad, but it's actually uh, Bum Lung Glad. After registering, I got this wristband. Oh, they call my name. I got my meds. I'm gonna head out now. Uh, in a couple hours, about six hours later, I'm gonna have a dentist appointment, and that's like right around this area. So I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the six hours. I was looking on the map to look for a place to hang out, but it looks like this is uh, near the red light district. So I'm getting my baby coconut. coconut. It's 40 baht. I might have been charged a little bit more than I should be, but hey, it's still cheaper than the US. Come, come, come. Yeah. All right, so I'm sitting down on this red chair. Oh, it looks like there's some railroad. It's a warm day. Oh, it's so good. So good. And there's always a stray dog in Bangkok, as you can see. And Okay, so the hospital felt like a hotel and then they gave up wristbands, so it made me feel like I'm going to a club. I kind of feel like an old person because I'm trying to use my leg as little as possible, so I'm looking for escalators. And I bumped into a lady who is Cuban, but she lived in France and she is in Bangkok often. So she really knows this place very well and she was saying like, oh, you should go to this massage place called The Touch. That's where I'm headed to. And like for one hour, uh, it's 300 baht, which is like $10 USD. Today is Monday and I heard that on Mondays, uh, a lot of street food stalls close for cleaning, street cleaning. This area, they set up a lot of street food. Whoa, look at this. Look at it, it's purple. That's 25 baht. The other day, I tried the white dumplings. That was yummy. It was like, it tasted very cute. And it made you feel really cute when you had it. All right, I got my goods. Let's find a place to sit. Thankfully, one table just opened up. So I'll sit over here. So these baby chilies, they are very small. Uh, I mean, compare it to my pinky, right? Super small and skinny. However, they're very spicy. So do not underestimate its power. Actually, this one tastes even better than the first time I had it. Okay, the main reason I bought this was because of these guys. I mean, look at the texture. It was intriguing, so I had to try it. The inside is crunchy. I think there's peanuts in that. It's a little nutty. Okay, let's try the blue purple one. In a nutshell, they all taste similar. Just the exterior has a different look. You know, these guys remind me of um, human beings. You know, on the outside, we might have a different skin color, different exterior, different look. But at the core, we're still human beings and we have a lot of shared characteristics. Here's a 180. At this table I'm sitting at, I'm sharing it with the four other local ties well, as I vlog this. <laughs> because it's almost 12 p.m., I think a lot of the people who work around this area are on their lunchtime. It's very sticky. And these brown things right here, that's garlic. Done. It's a little past 12.30. Uh, I still got like five and a half hours until my dental appointment. So maybe I'll get a two hour time massage instead of one hour. Might as well, it's like so much more affordable than the States. All right, found the touch. I'm inside now.
Wow, I feel lighter. I feel more like a feather now. Oh, I just wanna, oh, our fingers are like spicy like Thai street food, but it was spicy in a refreshing way. I feel so loose and uh, I can't stop smiling. If you get two hour Thai massage in America, it's easily $90, $120, depending on the parlor. But this place, for two hours, I paid 550 baht, which is about $20 USD, and I gave the lady a tip. The name of this place is The Touch, but I don't want to pronounce it as The Touch. I want to pronounce it as The Touch, like with a gentle whisper. I feel like that's the proper way to pronounce the name of this place. Alright, I think I'll walk back from the street I came from, so I need to go that way. Today's theme of the day is taking care of the body. Woo. Oh, earlier there was a lot of street food vendors in there. My dental clinic is on the other side, so I'm gonna cross the bridge again. I'm noticing there's a lot of Indian food here, so I guess I'll get some Indian food. Kana Kazana, fine dining Indian vegetarian restaurant. Right, so this restaurant has so many options. They have South Indian dining as well as North Indian cuisine. Just got my misi roti with my mixed vegetable curry. And it came with a side of three sliced cucumbers and onions, raw. You know how to eat this? You peel this and then you dip it. I think you should put a plate. Two hands, just like right up there, and break it. Alright. And dip it. Dip it like this? No, dip it. Oh, like this? Properly, yeah. Like this? Yeah. Like this? Like this, yeah. This is better. Oh, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. How you feel? Okay, good. I feel good. <laughs> I just got a mini lesson on how to eat Indian food. Although I got a proper Indian food lesson, I'm gonna be a bad student and break the rules here. Altogether, my meal was 3.30 baht about ten dollars USD. The portion was quite small so even in terms of uh, American standard I would say it was pricey. I'm like one hour early to my dental clinic but maybe I could hang out in there and enjoy the AC because I don't see any cafes around the street. I went to the dentist and I ended up making a friend and she showed me where K-Town is in Bangkok. Sorry, Enjoy! And I ordered a bibimbap. I woke up this morning dreading to visit the hospital and dentist. Little did I know the hospital would feel like a high class hotel. I did not want to leave. And the receptionist at the dental clinic kindly walked me to Koreatown and she taught me about Thai culture. Thailand, I could see why they call you the land of smiles. If you can hear smiles, my smile will be hurting your ears right now. Peekaboo! For more delicious selfies like this, follow me on Instagram at Miss Mina O. See you guys in the next travel vlog. Bye bye! Greetings from Bangkok. My accommodation is located in a neighborhood filled with street food. I think it's a bone. Super cool. It does not taste like any fried chicken I've ever had in my life.